Are we at the hotel? No, we're going to Flint <laughs> Central. Are we, are we, are That's are a good question. Are we not going... I we, are, we are, are we at the club? Yeah. Yeah, we're at the yes. club. You want to go to the club? Fuck. Who swindled that shit? Who swindled us going straight to the club? Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. So this is good, huh? I'm not actually going to really interview you, but I'm going to do like a fake interview for about one question. Let's do it. Calgary, tell us about it. When I landed in Calgary, all I saw was an absolute fuck ton of grass and planes. Who? What? Just absolutely nothing when I landed, so I had no idea what to expect. Sometimes we fly into a city and if you were to, if someone were to give me a map and say, where are you right now? I have no idea. I don't know if no I'm on the clue. East Coast, West Coast, if I'm in North Canada, South Canada. I know I'm on the kind of West right now. Please Probably not North right. Canada, Please right? There's right. not that much. Very wildernessy, right? Super North in Canada, <laughs> right? Oh my God. Certified crew right Please. here. Crew, crew, crew. Yeah. I love it. Can I please shake your hand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, this What's is my house is threatened. Every time you go to a new city that you've never played in, like you don't know what to expect. So this was kind of, a wild card. It was fucking awesome. It was small and intimate, which I love because you could see every single face and I love playing during the day because I love seeing people sing along, especially to our unreleased tracks. Calgary is, is the fucking shit. I think the internet has kind of like homogenized things across the spectrum, even though we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Essentially, the, you know, the kids in Calgary are just as knowledgeable and, and dialed in as the, as the kids in, in Brooklyn or, or in London. Yeah, the scene in Calgary has become massive, you know, the shows have just gotten bigger, the venues have gotten bigger, you know, DJs are getting more, more draw. It was so cool to get asked to play on this festival because I've never been here before. So the first ever show in the city as a festival is usually not the case. So I don't know if you remember this, but you retweeted this picture of my mom doing the bro hammer. <laughs> <laughs> was she actually really, was she listening to bro hammer? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's amazing. I was she was right. like, what is the bro hammer like teaching us? This is, this is, that's incredible. Calgary has a fantastic scene, no matter what it is with electronic music, if it's bass music or if it's the trance style stuff or it's electro or whatever, it doesn't matter. There's a diverse group for each different kind of genre of electronic music, but everybody's really nice. Everybody likes the party a lot. The shows are great. They fill up. It's a good scene. Everybody's oh, yeah. really supportive of each other. Calgary is one of these markets that keeps having us back and it's built over time and it's really cool to, to come back now and to play our first festival in Calgary. Yeah. It's a lot different than just showing up at a market and being a superstar all of a sudden. You know, I mean, that's cool, but you don't necessarily have the appreciation of the growth. You know what I mean? And, and Calgary has that for us. My name is Harvey Cohen. I'm a director and co-owner of The Union. We're Canada's largest independent concert and event promotion company with offices uh, in four cities in the country now, Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, and Vancouver. As the festival scene has grown and the EDM scene has grown, it became natural to do a large-scale EDM festival, which this is going to be the largest in Alberta history, and it might be the largest in Western Canada this year. We were tossing around ideas of a name, and obviously with Tiesto as our headliner, he has the track Jason Summers, um, and it, it speaks a lot to the mindset of people in Alberta where winters are very long, summers are notoriously short. Playing big festivals is just awesome. I mean, it's the biggest energy rush and, and feel really lucky and just to be able to play my music in front of thousands of people and, and it's even better if they enjoy it. <laughs> Which is not always the case, but most of the time. That was actually the first time I've ever started from like zero crowd at a festival, so it was a little nerve wracking, but I was stoked by the end of it. it was on, so. Definitely a, a unique experience, and I was definitely shitting my pants for the first five minutes, just like, ah, like, you know. I remember playing here about 10 years ago to about 200 people. You know, since then we've just been playing to more and more people here, and you know, the gigs at Flame Central, I particularly remember being, you know, really good. They're just the, the crowd here very up for it and very engaged in the music. That's what we want to play to, you know, a bunch of really sort of motivated, enthusiastic fans and Calgary definitely has it. What's that club I always play at, man? Looks like the main club here. Flame Central, yeah, Central. I always play Flames. Probably the, the best theater venue in Calgary, but then they've just like, you know, barfed 
NHL all over the yeah. inside. The big C's that you see all around us are the Calgary Flames logo, um, who we are associated with, and that's where the name Flame Central comes from.